Stand up, Vanguard! I'm going first. Draw. I'll skip my right face. Before seed skill, at the beginning of my main phase, I can choose one calamity card from my right deck and put it into its soul. I'll put the beginning of the end into before seed soul. Before seed's other skill, it gains 2k for each calamity card with a different card name in its soul. For now, it's only an 8k. Turn pass. My turn, draw. I'll discard Corino to right. Determined to break away you. Following the footstep skill, since I'm going second, I'll draw one card. Since Corino is discarded, and I'm a Vanguard with you its name, I can search my deck. I'll drop one card with Rebel Form in its name and add it to my hand. I'll place Zest into my hand. My deck is shuffled. Since I added a card to my hand, I'll place one card from my hand into the soul. I'll soul touch Zest. I'll attack your Vanguard with you. I'll no guard. Drive check. No trigger. That means trigger check. No trigger. Turn pass. My turn. Stand and drop. Once again, I'll activate Beautiful Seed skill and I'll place Menacious Metamorphosis into it. So, with that, Beautiful Seed gains another 2k power. And I'll take your Vanguard with Beautiful Seed. I've got a critical trigger. Drive trigger check. Front trigger. My front row gains 10k power. Turn pass. My turn, stand and draw. I'll discard Corino to ride. Knight of Arden Light You. Determined to break away your skill by Soul Blasting 1. I'll look at the top 3 cards in my deck. I'll call for Ghost, the red sent to the bottom of my deck. Corino's skill, since it's discarded, I'll search my deck for a rare form and add it to my hand. I'll add rare form's Gust. My deck is shuffled. Then I'll place Gust into the soul. Since for Ghost has caught the Regard Circle, you have a new Vanguard, I can Soul Blast 1, and search my deck on drop for one rare form. I place it into the soul. I'll place rare form Tempest into the soul. The deck is shuffled. Now you will attack your banger. I'll guard with Alpha. Drive trigger check. No trigger. Now the ghost attacks your banger. I'll use the beat order, corrosive smoke signals. With this skill, since I have a hydrogen banger, I can choose one of my Vega circles without a dragon tree marker and base one. Afterwards, I choose one of my units being attacked and against plus tanky power. I'll give tanky power to Riffle C. Turn pass. My turn. Stand and drop. Before Seed's skill, I'll place Looming Demise into its soul. Since now there's three Calamity cards in Before Seed's soul, I'll place all three back into my right deck face up. And for my deck, I'll write Dragon Tree of the Cryptic Decimation, Before Gila. Since I wrote a card, I can choose two of my Regard Circles and place Dragon Tree Markers on them. I'll stack one side of the Dragon Tree Marker and place another in the front row. I'll call Gila Die Charge. With its skill, when she's placed on the Regard Circle, I can Corner Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. I can choose one of my Vega circles without Dragon Tree Marker and base one. Afterwards, I search my deck for a mass of Hydrogum and add it to my hand. For my hand, I'll play Mass of Hydrogum. With its skill, I look at the top 5 cards of my deck and add one Dragon Tree or Hydrogum back into my hand. I'll add Dragon Tree Wedge Soda Saka. And I'll call Soda Saka. During my turn, if I have a with Dragon Tree or Mask in its card name, any units on the Dragon Tree Marker gains plus 5k power. So that Saka gains 5k power, and since Gaila Dice Charge is on 2 Dragon Tree Markers, it gets plus 10k power instead. Grifo Gila's own skill, during my turn, it gains plus 5k power for each Dragon Tree Marker. If I have 3 or more, it gains 1 critical. And I'll use Grifo Gila to attack your Vanguard. When Grifo Gila attacks, and choose one face up calamity card from my right deck and remove it from play. I'll remove the beginning of the end. I'm no guard. Twin drive check. First check. Heal trigger. I'll heal one point of damage and I'll give the 10k power to Soda Saka. Second check. No trigger. Damage check. First check. Fun trigger. My front row gains 10k power. Second check. No trigger. I'll use Soda Saka to attack your back guard. Pagosa intercepts and daily die charge attacks your Vanguard. I'll guard with critical trigger. Turn pass. My turn, stand and draw. I'll discard a card to ride. You book Skyfall Arms. Knight of Adelite skill. When ridden by Skyfall Arms, I can counter blast one from my drop zone and Pagosa back into my hand. Next, I'll call Witch of Extinguishment Pagosa. When it's placed on a regard circle and I'm a new Vanguard, I'll soul blast one. To search my deck, I'll drop for up to one card with Rebel Form, it's cutting and add it to the soul. Since there's no target in my deck, from my drop, 
I'll play Tempest back into the soul. This will activate Kogos' second skill. Since there's three different Rebel forms in my soul, I can Soul Blast one card without Rebel Dress to draw one card. Now I'll activate u -Bird's second skill by discarding one card from my hand. I'll look at the top three cards in my deck. From among them, I'll call Rich Accumulation Supreme. The rest is sent to the bottom of my deck. Next, I'll call another Sequina. Boost up a Sequina. u attacks your Vanguard. While there's a u Vanguard, Sequina gives us 2k power. Our no guard, checking between drive, first check, front trigger. Our front gates gives us 10k power. Second check, no trigger. Damage trigger check, no trigger. At the end of the battle, Rebel Dress, Rebel Fall, Full Blast. Since I perform Rebel Dress, Sequina goes into the soul to set Full Blast Drive to 1. Full Blast skill, when faced by Rebel Dress, I can Count Blast 1 to perform skills for each of the Rebel Dress in the soul. With Zest, it gains an extra crit. With Gust, it gets an extra drive. And for Tempest, I can select one of the Rigards and send it to the bottom of your deck. I'll send Gala Dice Charge to the bottom of your deck. Since all three Rebel Forms are in the soul, the front row gives us 15k power. Since I Rebel Dress, Fergosa gains an extra 5k power. Now, Full Blast will attack your Vanguard. I'll perfect guide the attack with Palladium Zeal Dragon. And I'll discard Solar Saka from my hand. Checking Twin Drive, first check. Heal Trigger. I'll heal one pound of damage. I'll give the power to Sequin. Second check, no trigger. Now, Sequina attacks your Vanguard. Damage trigger check, no trigger. Next, Fugusa attacks your Vanguard. Damage trigger check, front trigger. My front row gains, take the power. At the end of my turn, Full Blast reverts back into Skyfall Arms. Turn pass. My turn, stand and draw. From my hand, I'll write Supreme Dragon Tree of Annihilation before Gila Vartex. When before Gila is based, I can set a set order. Before Gila, Aston Ogui. I'll move Soda Sarkap to the back. And I'll call Inhumane Dragon. Soda Sarkap skill. If a Rega is placed in front of this unit, I can count last one and draw one card. Once again, I'll call another Dragon Tree Wedge, Soda Sarkap. And I'll call Dragon Tree Wedge, Gay Daishach. To gain die charge skill, I counter blast one and soul blast one. And I'll place one dragon tree marker and search for a mask of hydrogen for my deck. Since now a Vegard has appeared in front of Soul Blast Saka, I'll counter blast one and I'll draw one additional card. For my hand, I'll play Mask of Hydrogen. To get skill, look at the top five cards of my deck. I'll add another Griffo Gita Vartex to my hand and the rest is shuffle. Vartex own skill, doing my turn. This unit gains plus 10k and 1 critical. Also, all my units on my Dragon Tree markers gain an additional 5k power for each. Inhumane Dragon skill. During my turn, this unit gains plus 2k for each of my Dragon Tree markers. Since now there's 5 Dragon Tree markers, Inhumane Dragon gains an additional 10k power. Additionally, for each of my rear guards, Inhumane Dragon gains another 2k power. Therefore, it gains another 8k. I'll use Griffo Gila Vartex to attack your Vanguard. Griffo Gila Vartex skill. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, I can choose one of my face up calamity cards and remove it. I'll remove Venacious Metamorphosis. I'll no guard. Twin drive check, first check. No trigger. Second check. Critical trigger. I'll give the critical to Griffon Gita Bartek. And the power goes to Gay Die Charge. Damage check. Heal trigger. The power goes to my Vanguard. Second check. No trigger. Third check. No trigger. Boosted by Soda Saka, Gay Dice Charge attacks your Vanguard. For Gozo and Intercept, I'll guard it, Alpha. Alpha skill, since the Vanguard is great trade above, she gives an extra 5k shield. Boosted by Soda Saka, Inhumane Dragon attacks your Vanguard. No gun, damage check, no trigger. Turn pass, my turn, stand and draw. Upper Solar Run. I'll draw one card and the Pharaoh gives us 10k power. Next, I'll call for Gosa. For Gosa's skill, I'll Soul Blast Full Blast and I'll search my deck for one Rebel Form and add it to the soul. Since there's none, I'll place Full Blast back into my soul from the drop soul. Give it for Gosa's second skill, I'll Soul Blast one card without Rebel Form. Draw one. You book second skill, I'll discard Corino in order to look at the top three cards of my deck. From among them, I'll call Sakina and the rest is sent to the bottom of my deck. Since Corina is discarded, I can set my deck for one variable form and add it to my hand. I'll add two blasts to my hand, and my deck is shuffled. Then from my hand, I'll place the Prina into the soul. 
next one called Yellow Jewel Beast Coat Cast. When you see this place on the Regard Circle or Guardian Circle, from my drop zone or so, I'll return two right deck cards back into my right deck in order to activate its skill. I can look at the top five cards on my deck. From among them, I'll call Fogosa. Fogosa's skill, I'll so blast full blast to search my deck for one rebel dress. Since there's none, I'll transform my deck and place full blast from the drop zone back into the sun to trigger its second skill. I'll so blast Sakrina to draw one card. Fogosa moves to the front. Both Sakrina gains us 2k since Yuffie is on the field. Boosted by Sakrina, Yuffie attacks your bank. I'll guard with Corrosive, Smoke Signals. I choose one of my rear guard circles without Dragon Tree Marker and place one there. Afterwards, my Vanguard gains 10k power. However, since my Vanguard is with gear, it gets plus 20k instead of 10. Additionally, I'll guard with a Critical Trigger. Checking Twin Drive, first check. Front Trigger, the front row gains 10k power. Second check. No trigger. At the end of battle, Rebel Dress. Rebel Force Full Blast. The cleaner skill, since I Rebel Dress, she goes into the soul to set my drive to rush. Both my proposal skill, since I Rebel Dress, the game is psychic power. Now, Full Blast skill, since I Rebel Dress, I'll count Blast 1 to activate all of its Rebel Dress skills. It gives one quick and one drive check, and I return Gaily Dash to the bottom of your deck. And the power of all three Rebel Dress, my final case is 15 k power. Now, Blue Blast will attack your Vanguard. I will use Palladium Zeal Dragon, which is once again perfect guard the attack. And I will discard with Fogida Vartex. Checking the Twin Drive, first check, no trigger. Second check, heal trigger. I'll heal one power of damage, and the power goes to Fogosa. Goes to the screener, Fogosa attacks your Vanguard. I'll guard with 50 k shield. Boosted by Topaz, Fogosa attacks your Vanguard. I'll no guard, damage check. Steel trigger, I'll give the power to Mifogila Bartex. At the end of my turn, Full Blast reverts back into Skyfall Arms. Turn pass. My turn, stand and draw. I'll skip my right phase and I'll activate before Astrologui's skill. Now, at the beginning of my main phase, I can search my deck for up to one trigger unit and place it into my right deck face up. And I'll place a huge trigger into my right deck. My deck is shuffled. If I place a card into my right deck, I can choose a Hydrogram for my drop zone and call it to my rear guard circle. For my drop zone, I'll call another Grifo Zina Fartex. I'll activate Grifo Astrologui's second skill. Once per turn, during my main phase, I can discard a card with Grifo Gila in his name to draw one card and I'll place one Dragon Tree Marker to Inhumane Dragon. Then I place one card from the top of my deck to my damage zone face down in order to remove one face up Calamity card from my right deck, accelerating the end by one turn. What? For my hand, I'll call Knight of Orderly Bomb, Divach. During my turn, before Gila Vartex has 10k power and one critical. Additionally, since now there's a total of 10 Hydrogram and Dragon Tree Markers on my Vega Circle, during both of our turns, Vartex gains an additional 10k power. That's not all. All of my units on Dragon Tree Marker gain an additional 5k power for each marker they are on. With Inhumane Dragon, for each of my Wayguards, he gains plus 2k power. Also, for each Dragon Tree Marker, he gains 2k power. Boosted by Soda Saka, Rifle Gila Vartex attacks your Vanguard. Both for Gosa Intercept and I'll guard with Alpha. Alpha skill, she's a victory in the both Vanguard, she gains an extra 5k shield. Boosted by Soda Saka, Inhumane Dragon attacks your Vanguard. I'll no guard. Damage check. Heal too. I can't heal, but the power goes to my Vanguard. Boosted by Divach. Before Gila Vartex attacks your Vanguard. With Vartex skill, when he attacks, I can choose one face-up Calamity card from my right deck and remove it. Since now I'm able to remove, I can choose one face-down trigger unit from my right deck and review it and activate all of its trigger effects. For my right deck, I'll review the Over Trigger. With the Over Trigger skill, it's removed from play and I draw one card. And I read that Grifo Gila Vartex gains 100 million power. Additionally, during this turn, all my rear guards can drive check. Vartex skill is not over yet. I'll re stand all of my rear guards on Dragon Tree Markers. What? I'll guard at Partner's Tear Sorceress. With a skill, since the Vanguard is extra critical, she gains an extra 15k shield. I'll guard with Recuperate Angel and Violation Reader Drag. Checking the Twin Drive, first check. No trigger. Second check. Critical trigger. I'll give the critical to Vartex and the power to Inhumane Dragon. 
boosted by Soda Saka. Vartex attacks your Bengal once again. I'll activate the Blitz Powder Elementarius Institute. I'll discard Topaz to nullify the attack. Checking the Twin Drive. First check, no trigger. Second check, no trigger. This card it goes out of play. Boosted by Soda Saka, Inhumane Dragon attacks your Vanguard. I'll no guard. Twin Drive check. First check, no trigger. Second check, critical trigger. I'll give all effects to Inhumane Dragon. Damage check, critical trigger. 